What's up, everybody? Sparewood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we worked on the bridge. We can stop calling it the cockpit now because it is very clearly a bridge. Um, some of you have made a few comments about making the bridge all glass instead of just this row. It's not a bad idea. Like, I like that. Um, my only concern with that would be where where or how to do lighting, because as you, uh, you can't attach lights, at least not that I'm aware of, to window panes. Um, and it's already kind of dark in here as it is. So that would be my only thing that I'm not sure about for doing a full glass dome-like thing for a cockpit. Otherwise, I'm totally on board for that. Um, but let me know what you guys think about how maybe we could do lighting if we did do an open cockpit like that. Um, although, one could argue if it was full uh, glass and you were trying to keep the solar panels focused on the sun, you know, you wouldn't really have a lighting issue, theoretically, because the light would come through the window. Though, I don't know if that actually works once once the windows are completed and they're tinted, though. That's That's one thing. But anyways, um, so I have been working on the solar panels a little bit more. Oh, that reminds me. Where's my thrusters group? I completed one of the large thrusters. Maybe it's already in the group. One of them was incomplete, and I just... Yeah, eight. There it is. I just finished it, so that all of our thrusters are finito. Um... Actually, let me see if the assembler is done with some more panels, because I only needed a few more. Oh, yeah. I built the uh, centrifuge and the arc furnace um, for refinery, refining stuff later. Got 16. Wait a minute. Why can't I grab those? Let me grab them before. Hmm. That's odd. That's really weird. I got him out of there before. I don't know why it's behaving different. Whatever. Come on. I hate how sometimes he'll make that jump and sometimes he won't. Alright, there's another solar panel down. So we have most of the main ones. We just need the sides and the tail ends. And I do think I'm going to put a couple on those edge, edge ones as well. Um... But yeah, this is the thruster that was broken before. We fixed it, so now it's all finished. Um, I filled in that spot there. I have not put a catwalk or anything covering this plate anymore. That's still exposed. Um, I did finish this. That was all framework before, so that's done now. Alright, so... Um, there's a couple of things that I would like to do this episode. Um, the first being I'd actually like to move the ship. Oh, I'm missing a thruster. I'm not done with thrusters, I guess. There's down there. Hmm. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is find a spot. That doesn't look like a bad spot because it's... Um, how do you put it? There's two of them there. Two asteroids. Oh, look at that! That was cool. I turned and it it uh, fixed my bulkhead door. Alright. So thrusters on. Turn the dampeners off. And we're gonna head for this... These two asteroids over here. Um, and then I will be back when we're there, and then we're going to work on um, both the hangar doors and possibly designing um, a drilling a drilling drone. So we will be back in a second. All right. So it kind of turns out they weren't exactly right next to each other, but it's pretty close. We still have two accessible asteroids that aren't that far away from each other. Um, so now I want to go down. Oh, and one other thing is apparently there is a ore detector somewhere on board. I have no idea where that thing is. Um, and I can't show it on HUD because it's not 
mine. Like, I have not acquired it yet. Or dismantled it, or whatever. Um, I thought I fixed that, I guess I did. There we go. Um, ore detector. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really not seeing an ore detector. So I don't know where they put that. Is the reactor hiding it? Is it in here? Don't think so. I don't know where they would have put that. I'm pretty sure I looked everywhere. But I guess not. Alright, so what we've got to do, first of all, is connect the cargo system. Oh, that's the gravity walk. Okay. Okay. Um, we have to- wait a minute, did I hear what I thought I heard? Sounded like a boom. Oh no, it's still making. Okay. Keep on a trucking. Um. So we've got to tie in the conveyor system somehow. Um. To be able, because I'd like some kind of connection port. Um, that would let me uh, take this driller ship that we want to do and actually plug it in to the station. And truth be told, this might be the easiest way to do it. It's right here. Oh, I haven't opened the panel today. I forget that because of all the intense mods, Oh yes, and there is another mod. Oh, I thought I added it. Maybe I didn't add it. Maybe I subscribed to it, but I didn't actually add it. That's very likely of what happened. But anyways, there was one that was called an RCS thruster. Oh, maybe this is it. Xenon ion. That looks like it. Um, but this is another one of those mods that it's like not supposed to damage anything. Yeah, that looks like it. Um, I think it's called the RCS thrusters in the actual workshop. But all three of these... Now, these have a better... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, range? Or thrust, I guess? Is a better word? They have a better thrust ratio um, than these. But um, there was something about these that worked too, but I grabbed them anyway. Um, but I think I'm going to take down this button panel here um, and put in... let's see what a connector will do. Oh, and let me unload some of my... I, I grabbed a bunch of metal because while we were flying I was actually repairing the ship. Um, so I don't really need a bunch of that. Whoops. Hey, I don't know if I actually destroyed that or not, so that works for me. Okay. So, a connector... Okay, so it does have a full connection port to a large container. I, was, I wasn't sure if it would have a large connector or not. I couldn't remember. Oh, I still don't have my dampers on. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of that. Fix that. There we go. That's better. Alright. So, hmm. I'm trying to map out how I want this drilling ship designed. Is this what I think it is? Wow, I hate heavy block. No, it's just a yellow block. Darn. I was thinking it was actually like a um, conveyor or something connected to the system, but nope, these two are just... Actually, no, we don't want to connect to these then. They're not connected to anything. They're just there. Useless. Okay. 
Tell you what, let's go out and take a peek. On this whole undercarriage and see if there's anything that stands out like this. Okay, now is this... Huh. It's not gonna need that anymore. Where do you lead? Okay, this is right under the conveyor... or con uh, cargo container. So, we couldn't do that without, um... We couldn't actually pull that one off without actually sh having it show through the floor. Which I don't really want to do. So, we could connect it somewhere else, but that's... that's no good. That's not gonna work very well. Hmm... So what we really need is to tie it in, because there's a... There's a tube running under here. Is that two blocks over? Okay... This is the refinery? Or no? There we go. This is the refinery. And that's the cargo container. So, we would have a, a layer that shows here, where you could see it, but it might be easier. Unless, before we do that, before we get too carried away, let me check and see what's connected up here. And if there's anything connected up here. It doesn't look like it. We would have the same issue. Oh, no we wouldn't. It would come through under the solar panel. Hmm. Let's test this theory here. Where's the port? Not there. There. Okay, nothing broke or flew away. There. And it's right where the port, or right where the solar panel isn't. That's okay. We could put another one there. Unless... I know, I'm just, I'm gonna end up breaking something, I know it. I don't know that that's going to work the way that I wanted it to. So let's repair our way out of here. And then let me go check on the bottom to see exactly where that might come out at. So we have the same spaces over. So I'd have to go through like all of those. No, that doesn't that doesn't work very well. This is the refinery. Now instead of coming up through the floor, we could just come up through the wall. I think I might actually like that a little bit better. Oh! Ha! Huh. There's a port right there. Never mind. We don't even need to do anything here. Okay, so let me set this up a bit more because we're kind of running out of time uh, to do what I wanted to do this episode. So let me set a little bit of this up and then um, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. Um, I accidentally made... I haven't been able to break that down yet. I ran out of space. But I've got two connection points. 
um, tied to each refinery. And what I'm doing here, I started with a large ship actually, but it's too big to get a, a decent size ship in here. Um, or with, with enough components, it would just be very tall. So I decided not to do that. So we're going with a small ship, which will end up using a medium connector too, so that it can line up. Now the one problem with this is all of the drills only have a small port, so there's really no point in using the large ports um, of the ship, and actually, or of the uh, different connections and containers and stuff. So I have two medium containers here, and with the added space that we have, I think that should be plenty. Now, one thing I'm thinking about is trimming one of these drills off the edge, because originally I was thinking um, we would need it to wrap around to the back where it's going to connect, but then I kind of realized that these uh, medium crates are already kind of set up that way, so we don't really need them. I mean, those uh, extra drills. And I keep having to turn my thrusters on periodically just to get it to stop floating. I don't really know what that's about. Um, now, it occurs to me, too, I could put um, one of these along the sides of these containers without any kind of connection tubes because... Um, the containers... Let me see if I can weld one together. Nope, don't have enough interior plates. Anyways, the containers, the larger sides are pointed this way. So we might remove these for now. And then we may end up keeping that one set of drills because uh, then it'll be kind of like this. Why can't I place that there? That's odd. Is it the landing gear? It might be the landing gear. Yeah. So, I'm not really sure. Um, but we're going to work on building this for a second. So, I ended up opting to go with the smaller thrusters for one reason only. They're more... Um, uh, how do I put this? They're more in the grid than the large ones. It's still a work in progress mod, but you can see the bounding box, how they kind of stick out on the large thrusters, which causes um, asymmetrical issues that it, it's hard to keep things in line. Um, because if you place things with these blocks, this way is not bad. Horizontal um, and isn't too bad, but like you can kind of see right here, I'm having trouble getting it to go below this point. But if you rotate them, you see the bigger issue. And that is that they stick out. So they're either going to overlap in the bounding box, um, or it's going to push things out and make it weird. So what we're going to do is compensate for that by using more smaller thrusters, and um, we'll go that route. So right now we've got four forward, four backward, um, and we'll do... See how I'm like floating now? I placed a block and now my ship is floating, and I don't really understand why, other than the fact that it's tied in together. Um, but it's, it's really kind of annoying me, to be honest. Um, actually, you know what we can do? Um, let's simplify this even further. We'll do... Right? Yeah. We'll do... Nine one way... Nine another. And then we'll change directions again. Now, for the rest of these, we might do... Four and four. So let's do down... And then we'll do side... oops. And side. And just for... Um, actually, can... 
Aha! We can! So let's put the gyros in there. Or we will. Um, but let me go ahead and weld this together and we'll see how it ends up looking. And like I said, um, I'll probably finish off the ship design and then we'll come back and see what it's like and then we'll test it next time. So I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so good news and bad news. The good news is the ship is complete. I've got three rows of drills, two landing gears on the front, two on the back, a couple of cameras for docking, a small reactor as a backup, two uh, batteries, there's an antenna, a remote block, and two gyroscopes under there your uh, thrusters and in the center I cut out you can kind of see it I cut out some of the directions and just put conveyor tubes to connect to the connectors to keep it all in line and uh, in streamlined so that's all well and good the one problem that I see so far is a if I use the remote block I have no camera in the front so I can't see where I'm going um, and B is the side thrusters do not seem to be functional. Um, they're set up correctly, but if I hit the A and D, it just says power usage goes up, but the actual thrust doesn't go anywhere, which concerns me. So anybody who knows more about these um, electromagnetic thrusters, do let me know why that might be happening. Um, in the meantime, I think we're going to call it quits for this episode. We'll try and tweak this a bit more in the next one, maybe work on the door and see if we can get that finished out to where it's more functional than it is right now and maybe a bit more compact. Um, so in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you all next time. Peace!